This is Dr. B, and in this video we'll balance iron plus hydrochloric acid yields iron 3 chloride plus hydrogen gas. I've written down how many we have of each atom on each side of the equation. Let's see if we can balance this. It'd be easy to fix the hydrogens, but when I see this odd number, that makes me want to start here and see if I can resolve this, this odd number. I could put a 3 in front of the HCl, and that would give me 3 chlorines and balance the chlorines. But then I have three hydrogens and then two hydrogens, and that's a bit messy. So when I see a three here, what I like to do is I like to make that an even number. So I'm going to multiply this by two to get six. So I have my coefficient of two, three times the two, that gives me the six, and then one times the two, that means I'll have two iron. Over here on the reactant side, if I put a six in front of the HCl, I know 1 times 6, that gives me 6 chlorines. So the chlorines are balanced now, and 1 times the 6, that gives me 6 hydrogen atoms. I have 2 hydrogen atoms on the product side, 6 here. I know that 2 times 3, that gives me 6, and that balances the hydrogens. And all that's left to do is I have 2 iron atoms on the product side. If I have 1 times 2, that gives me 2. And that means that the iron atoms are balanced. And we've balanced this equation. The key here really is, if you think back, we saw that odd number of the chlorine atoms, and we got that to be an even number. And once we did that, everything else pretty much fell into place. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for Fe plus HCl yields FeCl3 plus H2. And thanks for watching.